Hi, I'm Chef Aja Kamambas and these are the 12 recipes of Christmas. We are in Karanambu in Guyana on the Serengeti. <laughs> but we're here to bring you a fantastic recipe. Stay tuned for this one. Mosquitoes are just killing me here. I'm going to meet up with the owner of this 125 square miles of beautiful land. I'm going to bring something for you. So stay tuned for this recipe. Don't move from there. Be right back. Barbados Steelworks, a name you can trust. Quality material depend on us. Barbados Steelworks, we're more than just steel. Foundation to roof and everything in between. Come to Barbados Steelworks. Right, so we are looking for giant ant eaters, the vol the vaqueros. Vaqueros have just located one. Um, I don't know where, a couple of miles down that way. Um, so we're gonna go look for some ant eaters. And yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful quest. People are friendly. My guy here, my guide. So we're on our way for these giant ant eaters. Stay tuned for this here, Barbados. We are in the Rukuguni village in Karakambu, Guyana. Incredible, amazing, first thing I've ever seen actually, amazing. This is the 12 recipes of Christmas. We are in Karanambu in Rupununi, Rupununi. <laughs> move to stay fit. Basketball is a great way to get moving while using skills and teamwork. Let's get moving Barbados. Guys, we have reached the Karanambu Lodge. I'm here with Melanie, the owner of the Karanambu Lodge. Melanie, say hi to Barbados. Hello Barbados! This is the 12 <laughs> recipes of Christmas. Okay. Yeah, I'll be preparing a nice dish. Uh, you don't know as yet, but you've you got to prepare a nice dish. Well, I heard we were going to try traditional Guyanese pepper pot. Pepper pot, something that you definitely do home in the second episode of the 12 recipes of Christmas. So tell us a little bit about Karanambu and the village, the square mills, every single thing you have here. All right, so so Karanambu is not a village. It is a, it's actually Guyana's oldest private protected area. It is 117 square miles. Wow. And it is pristine. Um, it's it's five habitats. So we've got savanna, we've got rivers, we have oxbow lakes, we have um, flood forest and and swamps. And we are one of the most biologically bi diverse places in Guyana. We are most famous for our work um, rescuing and rehabilitating giant otters. And uh, so we're credited as being the home of Diane McTurk, the otter lady. The McTurk family has been here for almost a hundred years, so we're very much a part of the history uh, of the Rupununi. So a visit to Karanambu has a you, you get immersed in what we call the, the pioneer period of the Rupununi, and you get to spend a lot of time learning about the history and culture and yeah. Nice. <laughs> I saw some Jay one Jay Anita. Yes, Absolutely yes. Absolutely amazing, my first thing ever seen it. Right? So, so we are home to some of Guyana's giants. So you might have heard of the giants of El Dorado. So you, we've got giant otters, giant anteaters. 
Guyana's national flower, which is the largest uh, water lily in the world. We've got giant black caiman. <laughs> wow, <laughs> nice, nice. And the water lilies, and then we're going on the river today. We're going to do that this evening. This evening, we're going on the river. Because that's the perfect time. They, the, 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 the Victoria Amazonica is a very special flower. She blooms in the evening right before you arrive. And we're going to go and experience that. Nice. I'm a definitely excited. Melanie, thank you for having us here. A beautiful lodge. Um, I was absolutely picture quest. It's beautiful. I encourage you when you come to Diana, contact Melanie at the Rupu Nuni. You can contact us um, on Facebook at Karanambo Lodge and on Instagram at Karanambo. You can also look for us um, at Visit Rupu Nuni. We're one of the founder members of Visit Rupu Nuni. So, Melanie, thank you very much for having me here. We're going to take a short commercial break and we'll be right back with this pepper pot and some Perrine. Yeah, Perrine, the staff of life. Tara, Nambu, Diana. Yeah, I moved to win. Playing role tennis has taught me hard work, discipline, and focus. This makes me a winner. Barbara, let's move together. So tell us the traditional ingredients you put in your pepper pot. Yeah, we put ketchup, mm -hmm. garlic, mm -hmm. onion, yeah. and then thyme leaf. Thyme? Yeah. F regular um, French thyme? Yeah. Okay. That's all the ingredients for pepper pot? Yes, but uh, we, we usually put um, cinnamon stick, but we don't have really enough. Okay, no and problem. Clove. Clove. And clove. Yeah. Okay, no problem. And, and we usually add a little sugar. Mm -hmm. A little sugar to this? Yes, yes. Okay. So the nearest shop is about two and a half hours, three hours from here. Um, so we're going to excuse today. I'm going to make this blue pepper pot. So let, let's begin. Let's begin making pepper pot. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you do. You can be afraid. Mm -hmm. You all ready? You all smell it yet? <laughs> This is local cattle that, is, that was grown here on, on the ranch. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Come in, ladies, don't get afraid. You have your Come, come. Let's be surrounded by ladies. Come, 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 come. Ladies and gentlemen, this is beautiful. Thank you. Diana, we bring carry come together. And you can actually try this dish and you can make the pot with beef, pork, fish. No fish? Not traditionally fish, no. Yes, no? Yeah. No, that's beef and pork mainly. You're not answering me, ladies. Yeah, yeah don't be shy. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so you can make it with beef and pork traditionally, as mentioned. So, you get your beef from our local stores back here in Barbados. And simple, very, very simple. This could be a nice accompaniment to your Christmas recipes. If it's going to be up in cubes, and then we're going to get it all ready for you. What is your name? My name is Maureen. Maureen? What is your name? That's your mommy. Yeah. What is your name? <laughs> right, y'all got some... For, for a tribe that is so indigenous, y'all got some real major names though. Okay. Raquel Moses. <laughs> I thought she was quite stung. <laughs> I 
Andrea. What is your name? Andrea. Tia Andrea. My name is Sandra. Nicholas? Yes. See? All beige your name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's nice, man. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me here. You all like cooking? You all like, what is your favorite meal for Christmas? What has traditionally happened here for Christmas on this Karanamu Eco Resort? Tell me, what, what happens? You don't know? <laughs> the first time you're here. So like, like, like um, Melanie was showing me some plants that you made for Christmas trees to put together because no Christmas tree in the area. What's the name of the plant again? The Christmas tree plant. The Christmas tree plant. What do you call it? Y'all don't know? <laughs> Christmas tree plant! We <laughs> call it Christmas tree plant! They don't need to be shy. There's no one else here but us. <laughs> right? It's actually a potent um, fish poison. It's a, it's a potent fish poison? Yes! Wow! The Christmas tree plant. The Christmas tree plant. So they, they pick this plant, is this is potent to fish, and they stack it together and make Christmas tree. Do you add lights to it? You add your Christmas lights to it. But uh, so, so traditionally, so you have pepper pot, you also do ham. No ham. So pepper pot will be the main protein for Christmas. Yeah. So pepper pot, you do fish, you do like like cassava bread, you do a whole spray. Okay, Barbados is ham, lamb, chicken stew, macaroni pie, sweet potato pie, um, a peas. What else we do? We do porn. We do, we do, make the sorrel. Do, do, do y'all drink the sorrel drink here? The hibiscus? I see, I saw yes, some yes, growing there. Yeah. Yes. You get the sorrel and you take the seed out and you boil it. That's traditionally for Christmas. So we have a whole Christmas. The whole, this whole table will be full of food for Christmas. And you bring all your family over. Chris, some people eat Christmas for lunch and some people eat Christmas for dinner. But the spread, the ham has to be centered. Center, you put clove in the ham, stick the clove in the ham, put some honey and mustard in the ham, and you bake it. Push it in the oven, you bake it for two hours, three hours, and that is a staple. Once Christmas is over, we take the ham, the bone, we have the bone in the ham, and then we make a ham bone soup. So, like, we split peas and onions and garlic and stuff like that, we have a ham bone soup so that the ham doesn't waste. A ham could cost you up to 60 US dollars. I don't know how much candies that is roughly. Just under 15,000. 6 by 2, 12,000 Guinness dollars for a ham. Right. So, the beef is cut up, so it's time to season it. Can I get a spoon to take the salt out, please? I'm excited. Step apart. Caranambo has been absolutely amazing. Visit Rupunini. You can check them out on Facebook and Instagram. Melanie is absolutely a gem. She's been a great host down here. Shared us all over different cultures. How many teaspoons of salt you put there? That's about two and a half teaspoons of salt. <laughs> this is black pepper. Eyeball. Eyeball. Uh, about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. <laughs> Mix it up nicely. Do let this marinate. I, I want, want someone, someone to explain to me casserole for all the little I know that you can get it in massive stores in Barbados. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Melanie is rich, sure. Uh, uh, welcome, Melanie. Thank you for <laughs> letting us use Laser Kitchen and your staff. Am I star cook? And your star cook. <laughs> Who is winning best cook in your Pudoni this yeah, year? You're going to win that, yeah. Okay, so, so casserole is made from the juice of the, the bit of cassava. Mm -hmm. So first you have to grate the cassava and you have to squeeze out the juice. The juice that comes out is a milky white. And then you, start, you have to boil that for a long period. And it's a slow caramelization process. So people can tell you that the cassava water is, is uh, poisonous. It is actually full of cyanide. You don't go drinking it. But once you boil it, it, um, it denatures that cyanide bond. And what's left is this thick, we are slightly sweet, tangy, um, black syrup, almost like molasses. And the other thing about it is, Kazru actually is a natural antioxidant, so it is a preservative, and that's one of the reasons it's so popular at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Because you know, mothers are so busy at Christmas time, you've got so many other things to do. 
you cook your pepper pot and the cats, it actually preserves the meat. So you don't have to, you, you do a big pot at the beginning of Christmas mm -hmm. and you just keep adding more cats. You can leave and you don't have to refrigerate it, you don't have to be cooking every day. You just tell them children when they're being miserable, go to the pot. Oh, so it lasts. Yep, it lasts. That's why it is the Christmas favorite. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. That's nice. I like that. Let's get this up the way. Let's let finish up, garnish up your, your, so you're going to add your, that's about, that looks about one or two cloves of garlic chopped. Onions. I'm ready. I hope you have your pens and your papers jumping on these notes of recipes. <laughs> Last week we did pork, and this week we're doing the pepper pot. I want to say a big shout out to my sponsors the White Rabbit, Barbados Steel Works, the Company Limited. The Ministry of Health and Wellness Barbados and Robert's Manufacturing. Robert's Manufacturing and Export Barbados for bringing us all the way down to the Ukrainian village. In Guyana, we've been to let them do some training and development with some of the local people here. And absolutely pretty, beautiful. I encourage you to get on a plane, book to Guyana, come down to let them. Four hours max you are here. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. If you love, if you love nature, after this, once it's fresh, you're going in the river. So, book that flight. Come to Bayonne. Ask for Bellini. Visit with Houdini. Pretend you get off the plane, she's right there waving at you, okay? <laughs> she's ready to go. So, we're all seasoned up. We're going to take a short commercial break and be right back to get this pepper pot pressure. Let's go. So, we just located a snake. It's called a vine snake. Yeah. A vine snake is going up. You see? Look at zero heading up. Alright Mike, we just located a snake, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's make sure there's no more from the ground. <laughs> yeah, obviously it's amazing. First animal we saw. We still are on our way to see the giant uh, eaters. Beautiful girl, yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, I'm in the Rupununi village in Karanambu in Guyana, and we're doing the Guyanese pepper pot. Another Christmas dish for you, okay? So, you're ready to go, Anita? Let's go. So, she has oil in here. You replace about two tablespoons of oil in the pressure cooker. Oh, so you, you don't add a cat fruit as yet? No. So, you just add the beef to the oil. It's smelling. It's smelling real nice already. It's very simple. Cast root sells in the supermarket. Cast root sells in the supermarket. You could get your beef from the supermarket, onions, garlic, plain thyme. Very, very simple. Oil. Very, very simple. The next time they come, I want a whole cow. We have a big party. Okay, I'm gonna invite all of my Beijing friends to come on down to Guyana. Absolutely amazing, absolutely, absolutely. So, my first time being to Guyana, I've been all over the Caribbean, never came south of Trinidad and Tobago, but I love it. I am in love with Guyana. So, we stir up nicely. So, you want to just brown the meat? Can, can I get a little stir? The chef can't be in the kitchen and not cooking. Can I? <laughs> so you see, they get in the meat all stirred up nicely. So, so how, do, how do you know when it's ready to pressure? Oh, you add a cap right here now. So, I'm going to add, add all of this. Yes. This is about a quart, a half cup, yeah. a half cup of cassari. But I find the one home is very thick in the bottle. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So maybe then you will use a quarter cup and add like a quarter of a little water in it to just thin it out a little bit. It's smelling real nice. 
So remember, it's made from cassava. Water. Two cups of water. More? That's it. You don't want you just want the water to just cover the beef lately. Some more water. Cooking is fun. You have to love it. You know, a lot of my friends tell me, I don't like cooking, but you can treat me. You have to make it enjoyable, you know. Bring your family together. It's Christmas. We've been locked down for two years. This is the first Christmas that we are absolutely open and free to lay together as family, you know. All the restrictions are lifting. Bring your family together. Get that Christmas spirit going. Look. So looking ready. But can, can, can you do casserole with chicken? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, do with chicken too as well. If you don't eat beef or pork, you want to do with chicken, you can definitely do with chicken. What's next? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it? So you, you don't add a herb yet? Bring the herbs, bring the herbs. Bring the herbs. Bring the herbs. <laughs> add all that herbs. Out of everything. Oh. Don't worry about that. I got you covered with the pot. I have you covered. Okay. Just be careful with the pressure cooker, you know? Always be careful with the pressure cooker. Don't let your kids play with the pressure cooker. Please. And bump them up. See, so let's let this pressure for like how long? 15, 20 minutes? Okay. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Have a pot. One pot. You don't have to match it the whole kitchen. All the fancy bowls. Have that. One pot. It's time. Red Melanie, I'm ready to go on the river. <laughs> well, let's go. I'm coming back here for this upper pot right after this. <laughs> <laughs> Wet season drag on a bit. Yeah, the oh the wet season it goes right down. This becomes a narrow little channel. I'm back from the river. It was absolutely amazing. I got to saw some otters. 
plenty birds, some caimans, some monkeys. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Melanie and the whole team. Uncle Ken, thanks for captaining us. I bring us back safely. My heart was in my chest a little while. Okay. Anita, pepper pot is ready. It's yes. Christmas time. Let's start plate it up. Look at me. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. This is smelling absolutely delicious. It looks wonderful. We're ready to plate. Okay. So we got some rice. Let's, let's on do this stuff here. We have some rice. This is Brazilian rice. Guyanese, Guyanese rice. Guyanese rice. I, I got some Brazilian rice from um, La, La, La Femme the other day. That's why you're asking that. Right, so let's split this out. Let's give it a little hug. Not for presentation sake. And get your guests coming internationally. And you gotta do a plated dinner. Mm -hmm. Not some rice. Let's give it a nice little hug. Take on the plate. Fill it out nicely. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put some vegetables. Vegetables are good for you. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is pushing healthy eating in Barbados. Okay? <laughs> Plenty of vegetables. This is what you call Bodhi. You call this what here? Bora. Bora. I know it as Bodhi. It's a long bean, um, not string beans, it's longer than string beans. It has a very beautiful taste. Let's add some to say here. Get your, your starch and your vegetables. And a ruler term. Your fist is a good, your fist, your personal fist is enough starts for you. And it relates in Guyana and the Brazilians on the border, they, they don't eat as much food. The food is very small. Barbados tend to eat. Ooh. Okay? <laughs> tend to eat. I'm going to take some pepper pot. Yummy. Add some of that here. Add a little more gravy. Not too much meat again. This looks good. Making a little saucy, beautiful. There you have it. Your candies, pepper pot, with some white rice and some bully. You like it? You like it? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. I gotta taste it now. I gotta taste it. Let me get in there. And it's gonna taste the pepper pot and a bean together. Let me see how well you did. Oops. Mm. <laughs> it's tasting real good, boy. Mm. Soft, nice. Have a little sweet, um, a little bitterness from the cassarit, but it's beautiful. I want you all to do me one favor. Let's wish Barbados a Merry Christmas. Let's sing a song. Ready? In three, two, one. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. All the way from. Karinamu Guyana. <laughs> it is Christmas, everyone. Join me again next week, same time here on CBC TV8. Thank you very much. I am going to go and enjoy my Christmas <laughs> Bye bye. Take care. <laughs>